Well, hello. The footage you're seeing right now is through an old camera uh, that's basically for uh, 620 film. Uh, it's, it's through this lens, through the TTL, through the lens, and it's so bright you can actually see it. So I got some other footage that you can see that goes along with how to actually do the setup. And I'm not, not quite sure what you would do with this, um, but it's real. And if you're trying to do some CGI stuff, you can just go find an older camera for five bucks, ten bucks, and put your camera uh, on top of the of the uh, TTL lens, and here you go. You got this really cool footage. Um, again, I'm not sure what you can do with it. Uh, the cool thing is once you get the focus down, you can. Uh, I don't have to worry about focus. I can go back now. There's no lights on me over here, but um, you know, definitely want to have some lights. And if I get a little closer, hello, I. So you can kind of see my face right up close there, and uh, so you can do some close-up shots as well. It is kind. It is interesting in some ways what you can do with this potentially. I took some photos, so I'll show you some photos that I have taken through this. Of course, I can crop out the the box of it and just get the format of it uh, of actually what's in through the through the lens of uh, this older camera. And um, basically, the settings uh, I just put on there as, as fast as shutter speed as I can with no lights. If I have the lights on, the fluorescent lights on up here, you get reflections through the, through the lens, so I can't do that, so I have to use the, kind of this mood light going on, this dramatic light going on. And I, I, you get some really cool shots. So um, anyways, something different, not quite sure what you can do with it, but if you have to do some old footage, this might be something. Um, as you can see, there's a little bit of uh, dust in there that I can't get out. It's in, in, in between the lens of this 60-year-old camera, uh, or, or older, however old this camera is. And uh, anyways, it's really fascinating in a lot of aspects of it. Uh, Enzo Flex 2. So uh, this camera is the, Eng the Enzo Flex 2 camera. They got a bunch of these type of cameras that are out. Uh, the film is hard to get for it. You can't put one 10 film if you, if you, if you change the spool out. Or uh, I've seen some people use some sandpaper to get it, get it small enough to get it into the... Um, into the camera to be able to use, but anyways, if you're into digital uh, photography or video, uh, it's something interesting. So uh, check out the, the footage of how I put that together, and uh, anyways, go out there and have some fun experiment. Rock and roll, as always. Yeah.